Have you ever believed something that you saw online only to find out later that it's fake? Girls know that all too well. The internet offers huge potential to tackle and transform some of the world's biggest challenges. But the misinformation and disinformation we find online hinders these potentials and is also a gender equality issue. Girls everywhere continue to be disadvantaged in every aspect of their lives. And the spread of lies and false information online reinforces these inequalities and deepens the gender divide. For this year's State of the World's Girls Report from Plan International, we explore how adolescent girls and young women engage with political, civic, or social topics online. And in particular, how do they deal with misinformation and disinformation? How does the mass of information that they find circulating on the internet positively or negatively affect their learning, their activism, and their ability to make their way in the world? Girl leaders Christine, Ella May, Dorothy, and Liana share with us some of the insights along with the 1,000 girls surveyed in the Philippines and the 26,000 girls from 26 countries all over the world. We're living through massive digital change. In the Philippines, can you believe that only 1% of the girls spend less than an hour online daily? While 32% of the girls and young women reported spending more than 12 hours online too. The spread of false information online is an issue of our times. It really affects all of us. It is pervasive and really inescapable too. But for the girls and young women learning about the world and their place in it, it can be devastating. So here are five things that you need to know about the truth gap. First, online information holds massive influence on our girls and young women. Christine, like a lot of us, uses her phone at least six hours a day. With everything online these days, the internet is her space for education, socializing, and entertainment. She says, to not be online is to be disconnected. Girls and young women are often particularly dependent on online information about topics like sex and sexuality, girls' rights, and feminism. These may not be freely discussed at home nor at school. So false information on these topics is especially challenging and has profound consequences on their health, their future, and their ability to engage in civic and political life. An overwhelming 93% of the survey respondents are concerned about misinformation and disinformation. 54% are extremely or very concerned about it. Misinformation and disinformation online have serious effects on girls and young women with more than 9 out of 10 saying that misinformation and disinformation have had a negative effect on them. That's 95% and the risk is growing. Misinformation and disinformation affects the girls' access to life-saving information, especially now during the COVID-19 pandemic. The pandemic has had a huge impact on all our lives and the girls are even more reliant than ever on digital platforms. The most common negative effect of misinformation and disinformation is believing a myth or fake information about COVID-19. That's 38%. Followed by questioning whether to get the COVID-19 vaccine, and that's 35%. Ella May from Northern Samar shared that she lost confidence and got scared of sharing information about the virus and the vaccine. And this is due to the abundance of false information online. With so much fake information on COVID-19, girls don't know what to believe anymore, who to trust, and where to find the truth. And they're really left on their own to manage. The spread of false information online can cost lives. It is dangerous, not only for our physical health, but our mental well-being too. It affects girls' mental health, and it is yet another thing that's holding them back. False information and stereotyping online affects our girls' mental health. The internet shapes their opinions about themselves, the issues they care about, and the world around them. It's very vital that girls can see the vast array of possibilities and futures, not just a narrow view of what's expected of them. 4 in 10 or 42% of the interviewed girls and young women have either felt sad, depressed, stressed, worried, or anxious, and 28% felt physically unsafe because of misinformation and disinformation online. Every day, girls and young women online are bombarded with lies and stereotypes about their bodies, who they are, and how they should behave. The images and videos they see are manipulated to objectify and shame them. Rumors are spread as a form of abuse. 
We see this everywhere online, from filters that promote unattainable standards of beauty to cyberbullying. Liana, a 19-year-old from Occidental Mindoro, shared that so much hatred online comes from false information that promotes violence. Fear, threats, and discrimination online cannot be accepted as normal. These cannot be a rite of passage for girls and young people growing up in a digital world. If we do not act now, the digital environment will remain a hostile place and will continue to undermine girls' leadership and agency. Lies and stereotypes stop girls from living up to their full potential as leaders and active members of the society. When girls are trying to learn about their bodies, their sexual and mental health, COVID-19 and the issues that they care about, false information online greatly limits their potential. The truth is crucial for girls to make safe decisions, to have power and control over their lives. Misinformation and disinformation reinforce harmful ideas, norms, and stereotypes about different identity groups, including girls with diverse soji, racial, and religious identities. Girls are watching as women leaders are targeted with malicious rumors and conspiracy theories designed to attack their credibility and shame them into silence. This damages girls' leadership ambitions and confidence towards advocating for their issues. In an increasingly digital world, Girls in all their diversity need to be online, safe, and with the skills and knowledge they need to navigate and lead. If we want to achieve gender equality, girls need freedom online and power to lead. Girls and young women need access to digital literacy training. Most of the girls and young women we spoke to have never been taught how to spot false information online, at school or by family members. Girls need digital literacy skills to navigate online spaces safely and with confidence. It is an essential step to build their resilience to harmful information, but it's not their responsibility to protect themselves. 54% of girls and young women have never been taught how to identify misinformation or disinformation at school, and 64% have never been taught by their parents. 66% have never been taught about spotting misinformation by social media platforms and 77% by government institutions. Girls and young women want change. Not only do they want targeted support with their own and young people's digital literacy, but they hold governments and those profiting from social media and online connectivity responsible for preventing and countering misinformation and disinformation. Dorothy calls all decision makers to prioritize digital literacy. This is for everyone and towards a better world. Girls want skills to navigate false information online and to disrupt an online world of false truths, misogyny, hate speech, and inequality. And they want all children to be taught digital literacy to prevent the spread. We are living in a rapidly changing digital world and the girls need to be a part of it. The 2021 State of the World's Girls Report clearly illustrates the benefits of using online sources and social media platforms. It connects girls and young women to like-minded people all over the world and provides them information about topics that are taboo in their homes, communities, and enables civic participation and activism. Unfortunately, it also opens up a whole world of disinformation and misinformation and also misogyny. Learning how to navigate through an online world of half-truths, prejudice, and downright lies to find useful and truthful information is crucial. Change requires not only a commitment to removing blatant sexist content, but an understanding of the more nuanced stereotyping that reinforces gender inequality. Including an acknowledgement that, while forced information is an issue for everyone, it has a particular harmful impact on girls and young women. So let's close that truth gap now and raise girls' voices calling for change. Visit the Plan International website to learn more about the truth gap and how you can help.